Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, Black Friday is here, Road to the World Cup is here, and the new World Cup icons are here, and there is so much going on in the game today. We got big SBCs coming, we got more SBCs, a lot of quantity, a lot of quality, and a ton of market moves to watch out for. Of course, this video is coming at you live in a very different location, but I'm on a slight trip for the holiday with the family. I'll be streaming from a different location today on Friday. Make sure you tune in early on the Twitch channel. That link is down below in the description because there is so much that's gonna go on the game today. This is a massive, massive Friday on FIFA, as you guys know. I wanna take a look at the loading screen, the SBCs that we had yesterday, and just what to look out for today on this game as we're gonna even start off the video with a new pack that has been added into the store just in the last couple hours, I believe. This was one that we knew was in the code, the Black Friday 10 coin pack. So we're gonna open this up really fast because it's 10 coins, shout out to EA. This is like a free pack basically, 10 coins. Um, and it's not a very good pack, as you can tell, we just, who was that? Was that Tierney? It had to have been. It wasn't a walkout. Yeah, Gomez, Tierney. All right, I'll take some rare golds. I'll put those into the 81 plus upgrade pack and I'll take a World Cup player pick. So at least it's 10 coins. You'll take it for the value there. But there is so much to talk about today and I've even made some investments already. Even though today is an insane, insane day, I think there's some cards that we need to watch for some potential investments on the game today. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive right into the leaks because there's a lot to look at with leaks, and not just one boom have we had leaked in the past two days. We now have two. Mbappe is not in best of team of the week because this man is getting a promo card today. This 93 Mbappe road to the World Cup. This is going to be one of the players from the loading screen. I believe it's like a Real Madrid player, which is maybe Valverde, and then Mbappe and Son, Hyunmin Son, right? Those are the two leaks that we have right now. These are massive, massive leaks. EA's going all out with this promo. If they give Son a dynamic image with the mask, oh my goodness, that would be insane. But this promo looks to be pretty good. Again, we don't really know what this promo is gonna be about. At least I don't know what the road to the FIFA World Cup player items are. If these are live items, if they aren't live items, we're gonna figure out a lot about these today. But this is officially the leaks that we have. And I mean, it corresponds with the cards that are on the loading screen. So it just makes sense that at least Mbappe and Son are coming today. People do believe that that third player on the left, the Real Madrid, um, card shown there is Fede Valverde, I think. So watch out for that today. Those are going to be a new team of cards releasing in packs today that we absolutely knowing that we absolutely know about. Now, what we don't really know about today is is this SBC going to be the big SBC on the day? Now, personally, I think it is. I honestly think that today will be the day that we get the flashback baby Messi, as it is called, because as you guys remember in previous FIFA's, the Fridays on Black Friday have been insane, insane days for content. So I would not be surprised if this is our player SBC today. It could also be tomorrow on Saturday, but I think either today or tomorrow, we're gonna see this flashback messy and that's gonna be just a game breaking SBC because so many people will wanna go out and do this SBC on the game today. Now, what we also know about Black Friday is we start to get these uh, we start to get these flash SBCs, and I think they're going to start early in the day today. We already have a couple of them right now. I need to do this one, the pre-Black Friday Flash Challenge 2. I have a little bit of time to do it, so I'm not going to do it on the video, but make sure you get these flash SBCs done. Make sure your club is stocked. I don't know if you're going to open packs today in any way, shape, or form, but make sure your club is stocked. Maybe just going out on the market and stocking some of those cheap rare golds or non-rare golds. I know that we have the 81 plus double upgrade that is out right now, which is so nice to grind. And you do need 11 gold rares, which is a bit expensive, but double 81 plus. I mean, the double 80 plus was, you know, a similar SBC and it costed a lot less. So that's the only thing. I think people are not super stoked about the 81 double because of how many rares it requires. But stock your club with non-rares and rares uh, because I think with all these flash SBCs, there are going to be corners of the market today, whether it's bronzes, silvers, golds that are going to be moving everywhere with what these SBCs will require and the packs that they will give back. So just be very careful for that. Now, again, if we get a massive SBC today like Messi, I think Messi and some flash SBCs and then maybe a couple other things here or there would be about all that we get. The big hype for today is of course the promo cards and packs, the new World Cup icons that are gonna be in packs as well. Team one, by the way, not all the World Cup icons 
are going to be in packs like uh, we have talked about in the past couple videos leading up to Black Friday. So I don't exactly know if, you know, are we going to have like Garincha today with his, um, you know, dynamic image, right? All these cards that you see when you search up icons here in the, in the um, transfer market with the dynamic images. Those are going to be the World Cup icons, but we don't know which ones we're going to see. I would assume that there would be some leaks today, so keep a close eye out for those. But a big part about today with all those cards coming is the store, right? It's the store. We already had a Season 1 review pack yesterday, Complete Scam. Don't do it, right? Don't do these. But we are going to have a lot more packs incoming. I just want to, again, like kind of refresh what some of these packs are going to look like with you guys today. Uh, the 85 plus star packs, these are lightning rounds. That's a big part of today as well. Constant, constant supply. We're going to talk about the market in just a little bit. So much supply is going to hit the, the market today because we are going to have most likely the first lightning rounds of FIFA 23 and with these star packs that just give out a ton of high rated cards, give you a really good chance of packing promo cards and high rated fodder. We have a foot hero players pack. Contains a foot hero and five rare gold players. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's, it says untradeable. Okay, that's good. But if they put that pack in the store today, right? That would be something that a lot of people would be interested in. Um, you know, a jumbo ultimate pack, still the Black Friday 100 pack or the Black Friday Centurion pack as it was called, 100 rare gold players. Like that still baffles my mind at how many players that it's gonna be in one singular pack. So watch out for that pack in the store today or if, if any, where else in the game that would drop wherever it is that's going to be there's going to be a lot of hype to get that pack so watch out for these massive packs and um yeah we already have seen the 10 coin pack like i just opened it on the video so today is all about the packs and maybe about some of these big time SBCs, right? And of course, when we think about the market, we see all these packs and we think about supply, supply, supply. Um, one last note about the Flash SBCs. I believe in the past couple of years, they've always done a Flash SBC hour for a silver card, like a silver stars. This might be our silver star since it is leaked uh, with this Ashley Young. So watch out for that there. But today is all about what is in packs. And of course, this messy SBC, if it is to drop today. So what does that make us think about the market well there's been a lot of panic selling and there's been a lot of market movements already uh because i mean people people are scared for what's going to happen today and with all the supply that is coming anything that is in packs like gold ronaldo i know is, is bounced up a little bit from where he was uh at his low point i believe it was on like wednesday either wednesday or thursday yeah it was wednesday right he went to like 99k and is now back up to 118,000 coins anything that is gold today guys be very very careful with because yes golden Mbappe is maybe going out of packs and you're like nate when should i buy golden Mbappe? i'd be very careful with this guy too i mean even if he's going out of packs his gold card um you know he's still he was 960 yesterday before the league came out that he was in the next promo and he's kind of been around a million coins since you know there's just going to be so much hype today if messi drops is that a Mbappe drop with people replacing a messi for Mbappe? probably not um, so just keep a careful watch on that Mbappe. He might actually move a lot today. But anything that is in packs, specifically golds, like a Van Dyke, like a Vinny, um, even like some of your fodder cards, guys, I'd be really, really careful of because they're just going to get supplied at like crazy, crazy, crazy today. Now, fodder is decently low. 85s, 86s, right? They're pretty low. Of course, our 88 rated cards are still about 45,000 coins a piece. 89s are expensive, 80, 80, 90s are expensive, 91s are expensive as well, 63k. Be very, very careful with these cards today too. There is demand though, and that's the other side of the coin is that yes, we're going to have a lot of supply, but yes, we're also going to have a lot of demand. So, uh, you know, with the messy SBC that could potentially be dropping, and of course, today again on Friday, as we saw on Wednesday, we saw this. The max 89 hero upgrade, you can't, you can't really see it all. It's kind of hidden behind my face cam here. But this is the max 89 World Cup hero upgrade. It refreshes again today on Friday. So that high rated fodder is going to have demand once again. If you time it perfectly, I think there's going to be opportunities where you will see maybe fodder dip into content today or maybe right after content. But then it could potentially go up further at some point. I don't know. It's going to be tough to watch uh, and to really try to time. But there's going to be demand on that side of the market today as well. So just be very careful with your fodder um, as it is right now. If the fodder that is not in demand, right? We know the 88 pluses will be in demand because of that SBC alone. But if like, let's say 84s are not in demand today, they're going to get slammed. 85s are probably going to go down a bit more. 86s could go down a bit more unless that messy SBC is so crazy and so cheap that literally everybody is going and doing it. And EA gives us some other SBCs that are sick. 
uh, for like an upgrade pack, that sort of thing, then I'd be I'd be careful with fodder. I'd, I'd wait to see what packs are dropped and what SBCs are dropped before trying to think about how the fodder is going to move today. And we'll do that live on stream, of course. Now, as I look at the market right now, you might be like, Nate, uh, or as you're looking at my account, you're like, Nate, where are my coins? Well, regardless of what happens today, I think that these Path to Glory cards are seriously such a watch. I think there's going to be a little bit more panic selling this morning. Uh, I mean, some of these guys have gone down so low that they are as low or even lower than what they were when they were first in packs. Yesterday with the reward supply, I went on the companion app really quick and I picked up a couple of Kuti Romero's at 148,000 coins. He is up 10K. I picked up some Carrascos. Um, he was like as low as he was when he was in packs. I picked up some Carrascos at like 140 something thousand coins as well, 145K. He is up to 160. Um, I picked up Araho at uh, 192, I believe, and and this card is up. Watch these Path of Glories today, because guys, again, they are out of packs, right? Their supply is basically whatever's on the market, um, and in there is is their supply, right? There's going to be no more tradable supply for these cards. There could be more panic selling on these today with the messy SBC, with all of the insane content that's going to be dropped. Keep a close eye on PTGs specifically from those guys that are maybe playing today, right? Maybe we have, of course, we have the second round uh, of games starting back up today. So groups A and B are going to be playing again. Uh, big game, of course, USA, England, right? Everybody's been watching about that one and thinking about it. But watch the cards. If there's panic selling on a Kyle Walker today, that'd be a card I'd be a bit interested in just, again, because of the demand of these cards and the potential upgrade with their game being so close. So definitely keep an, a, a watch out for those. Now, one thing that I have to say about the market in general is, and just players on this game, some of your like hero cards are down right now too, right? If we take a look at some of your World Cup heroes, you see guys like Mr. Forlan who are in here and they are down a lot. Now, these cards I'd be a little bit careful with. Forlan maybe is down some uh, because we had the Morientes SBC yesterday, which I think is a decent value SBC, nothing super insane, but at least it's decent value and craftable at 142K if you wanna get it done. Uh, guys, what I really worry about today on this game is how much the market can bounce back after 6 p.m. Apart from PTGs, apart from these World Cup hero cards, I'm, that's what I'm worried about today. Is the market really going to have that significant of a bounce back if the content is insane? And B, if there's so much supply? And C, to throw a third thing in here, when you think about Foot Champs rewards, Foot Champs rewards have been heavily nerfed, and you guys know this. There are gold player picks that are in here now. Yes, EA is giving us an 83 times 5 pack that may or may not be tradable, which could be, you know, very interesting to try and grind for. But this, I mean, it's going to put some people off of playing weekly. I feel like it's interesting enough to some people that they might play, but also an L enough for some people that they might be like, nah, I'm just going to watch the World Cup or play COD or whatever and not play weekly this weekend. And, you know, that might hurt the potential for a market rise on some cards today. Now, the market always goes crazy on Black Friday, right? So if you can avoid where everybody is turning away from and think about what everybody is turning towards, the newest cards, the most hyped cards, that kind of stuff is what's going to do best on the market today. So that's why I would really keep a close eye on the PTG cards. I think they're going to be very, very investable. I flipped some of those Zambos that I had. Uh, nice profits on him. Calvin Phillips, nice profits on him. Still have some of my rest over PTGs. And then these are the ones that I bought yesterday, right? Got the cross goes at 149. Uh, I thought I had two Kutir Meros. I guess I just had one. And then I bought a Rajos at, in the low 190s. I think I bought one over 200K. So I've got a million coins to work with today. I'll probably look at PTGs again. But I think that quick flipping cards from the brand new promo team, right? The um, Road to the World Cup cards that get dropped today. I think there'll be plenty of opportunities to flip these cards today. And I also think there'll be plenty of opportunities to flip the brand new World Cup icons. So keep a close eye out on those for today as well. Well, now also for today, a lot of people are probably going to be ripping their 84 times 20s times three, right? With the fodder uh, packs and, and of course with the team in packs, you know, people have an, an idea that they want to go out and open those packs because there's best of team of the week that is out there. Um, and of course, you've got the brand new promo team. So opening the 84 times 60 is something a lot of people want to do. And of course, you will have plenty of SBCs to rinse into 
right? With player SBCs dropping, with the 89 max hero SBC coming back yet again, there's going to be plenty of SBCs we can rinse into. So that's why I say fodder is going to be very, very important. And I think that people thinking about, okay, opening packs and all the SBCs that are out, that maybe takes a little bit away from the gameplay demand as well. But, I mean, it's just crazy times, right? Today is just going to be an absolutely nutty day. Now, let's talk theoretical just for a second, right? Let's say the messy SBC drops. You guys remember what happened last year when the Benzema SBC dropped, and it was insane value. Like, everybody went out and did it. Real Madrid links last year, and La Liga links specifically, absolutely went to the moon after that Benzema SBC dropped. If a Messi SBC drops today, I would keep a close eye on some of your PSG special cards. Even even going for like Golden Bappe, I'd, I'd keep a close eye on Golden Bappe because his price might move up a little bit extra. If people see that Messi SBC, they want to go out and do it, depending on the position of Messi and stuff like that. So some of your out of packs and some of your most meta um, PSG cards. I hate to say we're not those Sanchez because, I mean, this dude is already super duper expensive the way that he is. But, I mean, you think about it, a lot of people are probably going to want to take a card like this and go use him with a brand new Messi or maybe it's a Neymar, right? Maybe even Neymar's gold card or Neymar's inform. You can see a lot of bounce back on that side of the market with those PSG links, especially if you think about the way links go in FIFA. I would look at PSG links. I would look at Argentinian links. Um, and I would maybe look at some of the World Cup heroes that are from League 1. Maybe like Govu, uh, Papan, probably not that much. But Govu specifically, that'd be a card that I'm going to keep an eye on as well uh, with the Messi SBC dropping. If it is hype and if people are going out and building squads around that Messi. So that's one thing I watch out for as well. Now, last thing I want to talk about too is um, Foot Sheriff, I do believe, tweeted out a card design um, earlier in the week that we have not seen anything else added to the code or any other announcements about it, but it's this Foot Centurion card design. Uh, this is the official design. I It hasn't been added to the code yet. I haven't seen Foot Scoreboard say it, or I guess it is actually, official card design according to Foot Scoreboard. So um, I don't know when this is going to be dropped as well. Could this be a part of content today? It absolutely could. Um, it's just It's just really, really tough to tell when this card is going to come but i think that card design looks absolutely insane and if anything drops in the game today with this card design i mean a lot of people want to go after it because it looks really really freaking sick so the last thing i want to talk about too is if you're trying to buy cards for your team like i said i would not buy cards before content today whatsoever i would wait because i think they're going to end up dropping down lower same thing with the best of team elite cards that are in packs yes of course these guys had big drop offs from yesterday it is not worth in my opinion trying to fluctuation trade with these informs i mean yes Tail went from 150 down to 117, and he maybe went back to like one. He didn't even go back to 130, right? Right now, he's 120K. These cards, they're going to get packed more today through lightning rounds, through supply. Guys, like last year, EA dropped 100,000. I think it was 165,000 ultimate packs on PlayStation only as a lightning round. I mean, that's like, we did the math last year. I believe it was like 11 or $12 million that EA made in one hour of the lightning round. So that's one side of the coin, but also on the market, there's gonna be so much supply coming in and these cards are gonna get packed so much that anything that is in packs today, I would at least wait. I mean, unless it's a super duper meta card, um, yes, people opening all those packs will bring coins to the market. That's why I like the PTGs. I like the World Cup heroes because they're rare, because they have upgrade potential. Those should bounce back on the market first. But anything else that is either in packs, like a gold card, or maybe even an, an out of packs card, like an out of position promo item, uh, like Reese James. Th some of these guys are almost at their minimum price. Perisic, Fred, yeah, you have to be kind of careful with some of these guys. You know, a guy like this, Cancelo, is still super duper popular, 425,000 coins. Could he have a bounce back up in price today? Yeah, maybe if there's a sick city card that's in the promo, you know, you see that card move. Maybe even Perisic with Sun being in the promo team. Maybe not that ex best of example there because of the differences probably in price, but watch out for your out of packs cards. Those will be a bit of a safer way to trade today. Icons will be a safer place to trade. And of course the heroes, the regular heroes, uh, they'll move, but out of packs cards just don't move as much as they used to. I would really keep an eye on these PTG cards and look at the one, this would be the time, right? Cause this is one of the most huge days on the game. If there's panic selling today, and if you see low prices on some of these cards, this would be the time to buy again and a really good entry point because after today, people are not going to be as scared going forward 
to hold on to these cards. Yes, we could still have some really, really great content, like if Messi does not drop today or whatever, you, you still could have some more drops on these cards later on. But I think from this point onwards, from Friday onwards, I don't think you're going to see people as scared to hold on to these Path to Glory cards, which is why I'm a big fan of buying them up today. The only caveat to that would be if these cards are live as well. If we have another live card drop in the game today, that might hurt a little bit of the potential for a rise um, on the Path to Glories. But seriously, guys, that's why I'm, I'm just shouting these Path to Glories so, so much is because buy the guys you think are going to do well, buy the guys from teams that you think are going to win and progress in the tournament, whether it fits your team or whether you're buying it for an investment, these, char these cards should increase in value um, for the most part, of course, if that nation continues to play well throughout the rest of the World Cup. So that's kind of the situation. Um, we will be streaming today, right? It's going to be an absolute banger of a day of content, of course, as always. Um, and we're going to be on for it. We're going to be on early today. So make sure you check out the link down below in the description again. Um, we'll be live early today. That is the plan. And uh, I'm really, really curious to see how these cards are supplied. And again, the first lining rounds of the year on FIFA, are, it's always a crazy day with the supply. So I know I've said that a million times in this video, but it's true. There's going to be so much supply today that prices are probably just going to keep dropping further into the nighttime uh, on most cards and then maybe see a slight bounce into Saturday, but then even go down further on Saturday as we have more and more content released. So it's going to be one of those days where you're going to want to check your companion app every couple hours. You're going to want to check the game. And even with the World Cup SBCs going on, the Flash SBC content, everything's going to be feeling like it's a million miles a minute today on the game with all of the insane content that is going to be dropped. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.